Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Today I want to give you kind of like a, a simple tutorial, a basic tutorial um, in Blender on how you can build like a virtual gallery or kind of like exhibition space. Uh, we're gonna make a simple one. It's not like a full room interior. Um, Blender actually has something like um, Archimesh add-on where you can actually build a, a proper room with doors, windows, and a bit of furniture. Um, but that's a little bit complicated, but I just want to make a simple one. Um, and this tutorial is for my friend uh, Rupert in UK. He's actually a photographer and he has his Instagram here with all his artwork. I grab a couple of his artwork as an example and I want to show him how to create um, like a virtual um, AR exhibitions um, kind of like a simple walls and where he can put his photo all right so it's, it should be really simple so let's get started so this is definitely uh, for those who never use 3d or never use 3d app you might be a photographer or illustrator you or maybe like a comic artist but you want to make some kind of AR experience to display your work okay it's gonna be really basic so first of all um, to bring in your artworks it's actually really simple you just go file import images as planes and then you go to downloads where you have your artworks so I got, I got it here I just select all using A and then uh, you don't need to make it shadeless, just use the principal material so we can have highlight and things like that, reflections, import images as planes. Alright, so you already bring in your image as planes. So that means every image artwork is going to be a planes. Uh, you can't see anything yet, but if you turn on texture, you can see your artwork or your photo. Okay, so it gets nice highlight this is the default material you can actually add more to it and each one of the plane have a different materials with all this uh, control over metallic roughness clear coat so yeah um, so the image doesn't come with a frame you can add things like details like framing etc uh, it's actually not that hard but we're not gonna do that for now we actually just gonna give some kind of thickness to this image we don't want it just to be flat so normally I just assign a solidify and give thickness and I believe with the thickness we can okay uh, I think this is all right I'm just gonna use this so only one of the plane actually have this solidifier so if I control L, connect and link the modifier, each one of them will have some kind of thickness. And then I will adjust it by holding options and adjust thickness. So I can control the thickness. So this is going to be the canvas. So I'm going to save this very quickly. So this is a AR rule. And all right. So all we need to do now is to arrange it in the space. Um, some kind of virtual space you gotta think of the size of your exhibition space so the canvas is around one by one meter right square more or less I think this one is yeah each one of them is around one meter by one meter so the room let's make it like um, something that will fit this canvas without rescaling so I'm gonna go to the top view I'm gonna draw something very quickly I will create a cube and then hit tab go to edit mode right click merge vertices at the center so we only have a single point and here I can start extruding just hit E and then extrude so here I'm building some kind of a floor map and I want to make uh, a very very simple basic uh, floor map like this is a single wall let's say we want to make extrusion there and then select this point extrusion there right so just align and I select all now 
hit A and then extrude up. So this is the wall for our artwork. So now I'm gonna select all of this. So I think for beginners of apps like Blender, you, uh, it's a good idea to understand how to rotate and th things like that. If you don't know how this actually uh, the move rotate scale can be very handy. Normally I will use a lot of shortcut, but if you are new to it, um, get to learn to understand the the tools, and then you are, you learn uh, the hot keys. All right. So okay, I just drag it there. You know, it's a now it's just a matter of arranging this to follow the wall more or less it's easier to do it from the top view oh if, if only you can see the wall right the wall is very thin so maybe add solidifier for now solidifier add thickness to the wall so this is just a super basic simple wall okay maybe I'm upside down okay sorry select this artwork so one, two, three, go to the top view, align it to the wall. So one, two, three. Okay, cool. So you can feel free like if you want to scale some of the artwork and you want to add some kind of information using text or using image that uh, that's totally up to you. Uh, let's actually move this, but locally. Okay, so that's a simple trick. There's actually Rupert with his uh, mask because of the stupid fire thing. All right, so yeah, we have our exhibition space. Um, if a person actually standing here. It should be a good placement of the this canvas. And you can center this. All right, so that's uh, actually pretty much it. And once it's done, if you want to convert this into AR file, export GLB and this should do the job apply modifier include selected objects only um, we could add material to the wall things like that but and in this case i don't have the floor or ceiling i just want to make this like an open space and this is going to be just a very basic ar space and all i need to do now is to use reality converter app and drag and drop our GLB into this guy. Where is it? I think this. If you drag and drop the GLB into Reality Converter, and if it's working, then you just export it into iPad or iPhone as USDZ, and it should work. And you just share it with your friend, and you have this kind of like an app for AR and it's just gonna work let's wait a few seconds oh by the way even the image from Instagram is actually quite large it's like 2 2k per image and it's really high quality so the size of this GLB is around 18.7 so this is the AR okay it's, uh, it's done um, okay apparently I didn't center it out so I forgot to do that I should have put it I should have centered this so select all just center it so the pivot is correct and so it's kind of nice and centered save save the blend file export the GLB once again if you like save under the same name um, later on reality Converter will update it accordingly you can change the environment so it's already reloading uh, we can use different environment light to test our AR so yeah but uh, in, in blender itself if you want to test it out 
you can use EV rendering and then play with the shadow. So I'm, I switch to EV. Now it's a little bit darker because we don't have light. If you have sunlight, you can then start to adjust and check how the light might look on the exhibit. So of course it's a this is 3D. I mean, you don't need to know the whole package when you're learning 3D. Like I mean, for if it's like pro, for professional uh, works, maybe it's a different than if you're actually just gonna be using it for you know like a once-off thing, like making something like this. You might actually notice there's a slight issue with the normal you might need actually to switch on only rim because it might be that the normal is not correct let me check I think this this looks all right as AR but here so for each one of this image let me try one two three somehow super slow we're gonna turn off turn on only rim so if we go back to this view it's uh, it's correct it was too dark before so this is another is this is a point light that you can you can add to your gallery so right so that's uh, just a quick one and we have now AR mode here that we can just airdrop it into the iPhone or the iPad and you can actually see it in real life real size and just drop it in the scene so I think that's pretty cool uh, I try to teach some of my friends who never never actually touch 3d app i think with a bit of confidence they can actually learn this and make their own kind of exhibition space even though this is like, like i said super basic but it's still um useful skill uh to be able some to make something like this and if uh, with ar you can actually add some kind of interaction so if you tap it's gonna give information things like that so right so yeah, that's how you make a virtual exhibition. Uh, Rupert, if you watch this, uh, hopefully you find it interesting and useful. So thanks for letting me using this uh, your uh, photos. And yeah, I'll see you next time then. Thank you. Bye.